Evening everybody, happy Tuesday. Sorry, I'm actually one minute over. Some things have changed on the old Facebook Live thing. Um, but they only asked me about when I was going live, so I, just, so I thought, oh, I'll just see what that is. But it's all okay. Everything's working fine, which is good. Fat right. Oh, noises is on. Let me turn them off. Right, okie dokie. Hi Alison. So what I'm going to be doing this evening is I'm going to be doing some ink blending. I'm going to be doing, let me just zoom in a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to be doing some ink blending. I'm going to be doing some stamping and all this sort of thing with the doodle art ladybird. Um, I, am, I am missing one of my stamps, so I have to go on a hunt for that later. Hi Angie. Hi Caroline. Because... That's quite a good little flower, which is obviously what it's gone missing. I've taken it out to do something with, and then I haven't returned it. <laughs> there we go. So, but what I'm what I've done is I've selected tonight's colours already, um, because I hope you have realised, but you might not have, and it's fine if you haven't. Over the last uh, few weeks, last few Tuesdays, I've been trying to have more of a plan, and that that is my colours as well. It is a ladybird. What did I say? Did I say something else? Anyway, it's a do. Hello, Judith. You're on my love. Um. So the colours tonight, they're going to be running in this sort of theme. So in my distress oxides, I've got abandoned coral. That's going to really annoy me in a minute. Abandoned coral, carved pumpkin, and mustard seed. Okay. I've also got three sort of coordinating jelly roll fluorescent moonlight pens um and these are from the fluorescent set okay so they're gonna go with it as well and obviously my ladybird stamps which i'm really really chuffed with um we've got lots more doodle art coming this year um i've been actually drawing up a blooming storm recently um because it is how I, because these are the ones that i hand draw the most um in the journaling girls and whatever but i will say the journaling girls although they're quite um relaxed in how they're drawn they are a single line so i have to be really careful whereas my doodle art they're a bit more sketchy a bit more loose um so these i just love doodling the extra bits is whatever so we have got some more of those coming um but just so you are aware any future releases like this um will mostly be in the regular size okay so if you do like any of the doodle art in the excels i would that we already do i would say get a hold of them because from now on it will mostly be this size except for like specialist ones judith oh you're lurking off work oh i hope you feel better soon my darling and um, that's no good is it that's no good at all um so yeah if you've got any questions anything you want to you know no just give me a shout tracy you pick me oh thanks love um i appreciate it and i honestly honestly do <clears throat> i hope i can live up to the hype now i feel pressured um but yeah so it's really really good and so i thought as well tonight what i'm going to do is i'm going to make a card um, i've been doing a lot of art journaling with you guys recently and i know last week i showed you um how to make panels um and therefore they can go in for example into your six by six journal or a card but tonight this one is definitely going on a card but you could put it on a six by six panel of course if you wanted to right so the first thing we're going to do and again this is something i feel like i haven't done and alive in a while so this is quite cool for me i'm just going to move these to the side a second all right so we're going to take our three distress oxides and like i say i've got abandoned coral carved pumpkin and my mustard seed okay um and what i want to do is i'm going to use these just to blend into this background just to create a you know a mix on here just to create this sort of color and then and i thought then we can start adding in some of the other other um embellishments and things on top and some dinkables too so i've got dinkable set eight um which has got these designs in it and then i've also got 
Thinkables set three, um, which, as we all know, is one of my absolute favourites um, because it has not only the circles, which are so, so handy, but also the spatter, which is great if you love spatter effect, but you don't like flicking ink everywhere or maybe you craft on your lap, so you can't really flick it ink everywhere because it'll go all over the sofa. Um, so, you know, that's a really handy, handy um, dinkable for that. Okay, right, so yeah, I've got a dinkable set eight and dinkable set three. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go in with the mustard seed. Okay, so get the ink onto your blending brush or your blending tool, whichever you're sort of using. Now, I have found, do you remember last year? And I said, oh, I found this sort of stash of, what's the best way to describe it? Inexpensive cardstock um, that I wanted to get used up and it was really thin and flimsy. Um, well, I found some other stuff now and it's and it's not thin and flimsy. It's actually a really good weight, but it's quite coarse and it doesn't necessarily take water very well. Um, but what I wanted to do was use some of this up. So blending onto here means I don't have to worry too much about um, ink techniques unless I want to and if it doesn't blend perfectly we can layer over okay so hi Ben guess what your goodies came but I can't have them till Saturday on my birthday well in fairness if you won't give them to your birthday he does realize that means that you get to craft all day on your birthday doesn't he surely because that's that's how that's got to work surely if you can't have your crafty goodies till your birthday then surely that must mean you get to craft all day. Okay, so you can see what I'm doing here is I'm just blending the colours in off the map just to... I just find it helps me blend the colours together because you're bringing it in and you can just work over the join a little bit and that's absolutely fine. Okay, don't worry about any patchiness at the minute. That is not going to matter at all. All right. Sam was very excited packing your order, Joan. Honestly, in fairness, she, um, she, she was, she was like this. She was like, I could take this one because whoever's getting this is going to have a lot of fun with it. So she really wanted to go with it. Okay, and then we're going to go on with the abandoned coral. Okay, so yeah, I'm just going to load up my brush here, and again, I'm just going to move this. So I'm working on it, but slightly playing a bit. We're going to bring that in. Now, I don't want to overcook it with my abandoned coral, so. And then I'm just going to work over. I might actually go back to my mustard seed. Okay. And then we're just going to pick up and probably pick up some of the ink off the mat as well. To sort of bring. That's quite a harsh line I've left there, but that's not a problem because I'm going to put some other things over the top. It's just to get the sort of colours, excuse me, that I'm looking into having on here. Now, the good thing about working on your blending mat is you do have this ink left over. Now, what you can do with this, you have options, okay? You can put put it on your journal i mean you can just wipe it off it's absolutely fine the good thing about it being on there is that that's the option you have you don't have to do that sorry i've just realized i've left me spritz around me um mug of water on the kitchen counter hang on a second <laughs> there we go wow knock that over i live in a tiny house so it's not like i have to go far <laughs> hello right so obviously or you've got your tags so what you can do so i've got a number eight dina wakely tag this is the smaller one that's in the bulk okay so i'm just going to spritz on i didn't have a crafter lunch no um i kicked my totes which was not only terrifying, but slightly painful. <laughs> right, so then I'm just going to mop up 
onto my tag. What I'm going to do is I'm going to heat between layers, and this is how. This is how I end up with because I'll do this like I say in my journal as well. I end up with tags etc. Started with absolutely no idea what colours created it. And people say, oh, what colour is that? Absolutely no idea. Julie, you say about your freezing. I've been getting that recently. Occasionally when I comment on... Uh, I comment and then everything freezes. And it's like, should I just not talk? I'm not saying you shouldn't do that, by the way. You definitely should. But I think Facebook's being a bit of a wally sometimes still. Right, so you can see it's drying out on the mat, which means you get these lovely little splatter bits. So I'm just going to dry them because that is all two-dimensional texture. And I absolutely love two-dimensional texture. It's one of my favourite things. So you're adding texture to your tag, okay, but it's not any depth. Which means if you are putting into a journal, or even you're trying to minimise your postage costs, these are a really great way to do it. And you can create create your own backing papers and things like that in exactly the same way, but by smushing your inks on. Okay. Fabulous. Via Warwickshire. In fairness, I think it's been alright weather in the Shire today. Um... It was very naughty overnight and there was more rain that there wasn't supposed to do. And that was naughty because there wasn't supposed to be any more rain. But it did it anyway. Right, okay, so on to our dinkables. Okay, so I think I'm going to go in with this one. And I'm going to try to start with, I'm just going to go in and see if there's any residual ink these oh in fairness there is a little bit which has made it quite fine which is quite nice I think what I might do I'm, just, I'm not going to use the abandoned coral I'm going to go with a bit more carved pumpkin that has come up better than I could have possibly hoped for it's sort of like a of stained glass sort of effect on there isn't it again which is more two-dimensional texture absolutely love it and there on the abandoned coral you can see that carved pumpkin coming up doing a telly twinkle even though it's not twinkly but you get my idea right <clears throat> Then I'm going to, oh no, I've just mixed my sets up. Yeah. Then I'm going to go to my set three. Okay, with my circles. I'm going to go to the mustard seed. Okay. And go with this over the slightly darker sections. Give these circles here. Okay. Blooming lovely. And like I say, all of these, using all of these different blending techniques with your dinkables and your distress are completely usable in your journal as well. Okay. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to heat set that. <laughs> All right. And you can see, adding in your circles and adding in some other feature bits really softens that line that seemed quite harsh before. And now it's not, which is wicked. Okay, 
Right, let's, so let's start putting some stamps on here. So let me just move my first to the side just for a minute. And then we'll get our ladybirds. I really have to clean that stamp because it keeps falling off. So as my... And I do this a lot, by the way. So if I've got little stamps that keep falling off, it's because dust in bottom powder or something. So if my paint water's clean, and I can't lie, that's not a lot, I'll just dip it in to clean the back off. Dry off any excess water. And then it sticks again to its acetate or its laminated backing card. Okay? Which is great. Look, it won't come off now. I mean, it will come off. You know what I mean? It won't fall off. I have just seen an absolutely awful thing. A micron pen that doesn't have a lid. I'm hoping I've literally just knocked that off. Hoping. There are no guarantees. Okay. So, now I'm going to take... Breaking news, you found your little number stamp you lost off the coffee stain set. Thank goodness, because that is an immense stamp. Right. So, we're going to go straight in with our Versifying Claire. And we are going to put... I have prepped some bits. I'm just trying to work out what I'm going to do with them. This chap is going to go here. Okay. Oh my goodness. He's so adorable. Okay, so that's my ladybird on there. Okay. And... I just quickly want to show you something, actually. Because also on this set, you'll see this flower. Okay? Now, this is actually a really cool flower um, for several reasons. Um, it has... Sort of like a bent stem here and one of the reasons was i want it on wanted it that size but obviously it had to fit on the set so i curved the stem but if you want to stamp it straight you can straighten it out because i know a lot of the times we do talk about stamps where we have a straight stem for example and you can bend it and curve it and flex it and all this sort of thing but this one it's the same thing but in reverse because <clears throat> the back of the stamp has been Put so neatly around it okay um you can also straighten it out which is really really good really good can you see see the top of my craft knives please missing for over a week no i have absolutely no idea yeah so if you then that's got a squeak on today isn't it stamp this up so this is a really good chance actually to show you. So with your doodler stamps, you have lots of details, lots of little extra bits. But what I haven't done is I haven't completely filled them in because what I really like to see is when people add their own doodles to it, their own details, their own little bits that they've wanted to put on um, to make these your own okay but i wanted to make sure there was enough on there as daft as it sounds that you don't have to do that you can just color them okay which is really really awesome right <clears throat> so around here we're also going to i'm going to go in doo -doo 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 -doo. i'm just trying to think now because i want to put in the main stamps so that I can see what I'm going to work around. Right, okay, yeah. So I'm going to go in with this flower now. I have a plan. Okay. So 
off that one because my cloth. Kim, you've got your date, it's the 19th. Okay, brilliant. Game on. Okay, so again, talking about being able to bend stamps. So in this set, you've got two borders. Now this one, the circles aren't actually joined. They're joined in the stamp, but there's not like a connecting bit. And what that means is that it makes it an exceedingly flexible stamp to the point where you can actually like pretty much put it back on itself so you can really sort of play with it and have a bendy about with it if you know what I mean so what I'm going to do what it does mean though <clears throat> is sometimes people worry about getting it in a straight line but basically if you let it really relax it is naturally in a straight line okay so if you use the straight line for example of your cutting mat or something like that or your blending mat and then pick it up instead of putting it down it'll be pretty much in a straight line but in all honesty with your doodle arts i don't think that is the be all and end all of everything i honestly don't to be fair when i'm stamping i do usually have a piece of white card underneath in case i got when i'm stamping in black ink especially um but if I go off the card, I don't get black ink on my hand or everywhere else. We'll do the bottom first, actually. Which is definitely a thing with me. So we'll turn that around. Clean that up. Put that along here. We're gonna, then we're going to turn that sideways. But what we're going to do is we're going to swap the borders okay so what i love about these sets is they have so much on them um and they mix so well with the other sets so for example if you have got the butterfly or you have got the dragonfly none of the accessories are repeated okay so it means you're adding not only to your feature stamp collection when you get the doodle art stamps but all the uh all the little extra bits that we like to play with as well Okay, so we'll ink up along there. I'm going to turn that round because I want my arrows pointing upwards. <clears throat> FYI, this is a five inch square piece of card, so that gives you an idea of how long the borders are. See, look, dirty fingerprint there. The very thing I am trying to avoid. Okay, so <clears throat> as I endeavour to keep black like, fingerprints at a black bay, blah, 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 um, for where I put my thumb in the ink, I'm just going to heat set what I've already done because that completely fixes it in place. There's been, oh yes, Gail, there has been some awesome tags on the group this week. If you haven't been on the Bee Crafty Stamps group, or you're not a member of the Bee Crafty Stamps group on Facebook, it is different to our page. So, okay, so we have the Bee Crafty Facebook page, where we give you all the info about what's happening at Bee Crafty, etc. But there's also the Bee Crafty Stamps group, and that's for people that love Bee Crafty things and play with Bee Crafty things to share ideas and all that sort of thing. Now, Sally from the creative team, she runs a challenge in there every month. And this month, it is tags. Uh, you know, and there have already been some fantastic tags. And in fairness, check out the blog because the DT have been making some fantastic inspiration for you. And it's all photo set by step. OK, so you can follow the tutorials. And Dawn, for example, who's on who who's on the chat at the minute, Dawn, she has taken some of these photo tutorials and she doesn't necessarily have all the inkables and stuff. So she's so she's swapping them out. For other ones which is exactly what the photo tutorials are for so do check out the bee crafty blog because 
the, the creative team are doing so much, not only to inspire you to use the stamps and templates and stuff and inkables, but also for the challenge too, which is awesome. Okie dokie. There's only one Harry Green. That is very, very true. That is true facts, as my daughters would say. Right, so from here, I'm going to go in and I'm going to start in with my moonlight pens now if this is if this gets too boring and you need me to crack on then you tell me okay but i'm hoping it will go quite quick all right because we're just going to add in some highlight bits to the borders so they sort of pop And again, don't worry about, you know, staying perfectly true to what the stamp's doing. That doesn't have to happen at all. Like, at all. Okay, so for example, I'm covering up the centre of that because it's just, you know, it'll take too long to colour around. So, you know, do do. And I'll turn again. And again, turn your project, okay? So, middle. Bottom, top, middle, bottom, top, bottom. Okay. So that's already got some funky yellow on there, funky yellow highlights. Okay, so now we're going to go in, in fact, I'm going to go in with this one because this might be enough because obviously there's quite a lot of orange tone going on. Here we go. So we're going to go middle, bottom. Oh, mixing it up. Oh yeah, that's good. So you can see you've got those colours in there. And it really is as simple as basically what I've been doing in order to get um, an idea of what colours I want to use, what colours I want to be going with. Um, um, sorry, I was trying to read the chat then I gave up. Is I start colouring one of the stamps in and then turn that into a colour set and that's what I stay with. Okay. When are we on to Craft Store next? We are on, on the 18th. Thank you, Alison. Which is one week today. Which means one week today you get a Super Sally bonus. Um, because she'll be doing Try It Out Tuesday. Um, and let's face it. When Sally last did a Try It Out Tuesday. She made that awesome mini book. And she's on fire with mini books at the minute. Um, she's done this um, sample for the show next week which is absolutely superb i have to say um and the only thing now is i do worry about getting everybody's sample shown because obviously we're not on for very long so that's why there is going to be um as usual i'm sure sally will probably do this to be fair a an album in the Bee Crafty Stamps group, another reason to join the Bee Crafty Stamps group, where Sally will put all of the design team inspiration for the show. Okay? So, right, back to these. Right, so the little accessory stamps I was telling you about. So I'm going to grab my border, Super Skinny Slim, and this is sort of like these little doodle diamond shape things, and we're going to start adding some of these in. Okay, but the cool thing about this, and this is one of the reasons we do clear stamps, so you can join these together, make a larger section to create your own patterns. It's not just about what you see, it's about what you can then develop it into, which is quite cool. All right. So we'll take that off. And the, the whole point is, you can see, I've really done a mix of sort of the geometric 
and the swirly and that's what I'm calling it so yeah all right so actually I'm going to do some of these swirlies coming out of this flower so I think that's going to be rather awesome isn't it I wish I'd thought of doing that before. That looks really cool. Um, and then I'll just put a random one there because that's sort of where I, you know, did a black smudge with my thumb. Okay, so we're filling in that space, which is obviously something I love to do. This is just a regular set. Um, if you've used your slims a lot this week, they're really easy to use by flexing them. And that's the point. It's all about making your stamping easier. Something I used to do a lot, um, it shows, and obviously I haven't been able to do recently, um, is people will come to the stands. Sorry, I'm just quickly reading. Sorry, just looking. Um, is they come to me and say, I love your stamps, but I can't stamp. And this is where I see the looks of horror. As I turn my mat around or a piece of card, I push it towards them and say, stamp for me. Okay. And I literally just sit there, watch the piece of card. I'm not staring at them because, you know, that's harsh. Um, and I will say, stamp for me. And it's so I can watch exactly what you're doing so I can see where I can help. Okay. Um... Lots of people I know now have success with stamping platforms and things like that. In all honesty, I have tried them. I honestly have. Lots of you will know this because I've talked about it before. I'm just rubbing with them, can't use them. However, a super skinny slim, boom. But that's why it's so good. There's so many things out there. So you can find the thing that works for you. All right. Okay, what else can we use on this little doohickey? Oh, he's quite nice. This is a small sort of stem with swirly bits on which is great because again it's got a thin stem that you can bend and flex and manipulate and it can also right be prepared for this because i know someone's going to giggle okay you can also do it as a standy up or a dangly one okay so you can use it both ways the swirls do look proper good and i've never done that before sam have you ever done that i haven't I'm going to put a few of these in, which we can then colour in, sort of making a little flowery garden. These little ones. Okay. Dangler. Yeah, but in fact... Mm. <clears throat> yeah, so, actually, that is a good point. That's something I should, sh should say, isn't it, Judith? Rather than just saying, oh, super skinny slims. You know, in case it's people that don't know. So at the minute, there are four sizes of Super Skinny Slim in terms of your standard rectangle. There is also a smaller pack which has squares and a circle. But in terms of your standard Super Skinny Slims that I use every single day, for example, Jane would um, argue and because she uses the smaller ones every day. Um, these are your sizes. Okay, so this one was created for borders, words and just little and little bits that, that i press on you saw me do that a minute ago okay this was actually the very original super skinny slim that was designed for some of the botanicals and this is the one i use the most okay sorry i realized i was a bit high up then okay this is the second biggest one originally designed for the xl background stamps and things like that okay the border ones have been out of stock for a while in fairness tracy they keep coming in and then going back out again what I'll do is I think Billy's just had a, a new delivery of acrylic. So I'll speak to him and I will let you know. Okay. All right, Annie, drive safe. And then that is the biggest one. And this one was designed for, for example, your really big collage art style stamps. Okay. So here we go. <clears throat> so what we're also going to do. Is I'm going to heat set that as well because I can see a smudge. This is going to be smudge tastic soon. All right. Oh, 
Oh, also we've got going, in case anybody hasn't seen, in the Be Crafty Stamps group. It's a very busy group at the minute. We have lots going on, so we'd love you to join if you're not already a member. Um, is we're making Christmas cards. <laughs> we're trying to make one a week because, honestly, myself, nearly every other um, supplier I know, um, and most people that are on creative teams <laughs> barely got any Christmas cards out this year because we just, you know, you get we get busy doing other things and talking to you guys and stuff like this. That sounds like I'm blaming you. I'm really not. Um, and sorry, I'll, do you know what? I'm going to do some pens while I'm talking. And, <laughs> and I was like, right. I said, I can't, I can't, I can't have another year where I don't send out enough Christmas cards. Because, you know, it's bad, isn't it? I mean, it's not. It's not a good sign, is it? Stamp designer. Crafter. Doesn't send anyone any Christmas cards, though. I mean, that's not a good sign. So, I said on a live, oh, I'm going to make a card a week. And then Alison said, oh, yeah, I always say that, and I never actually do it. And I was like, yeah, I'm actually going to. She's already one ahead of me. Hmm. But that's not true, actually. I have got the second one. I just haven't taken a picture. I'll even show you to prove it. So that's week two. I'm keeping them all in a separate basket as well. Check the organisation. The rest of the craft room's a mess. But there you go. Right. There you are. I make cards for the voucher as well, yeah. But that's my point. We get distracted. Alrighty. So this is definitely taking on this lovely theme we've got going now. Which is awesome. Okay. One of the other fabulous things that people don't think to do with their dinkables, inkables etc um which i again i love to show people to do it shows i haven't found all those missing um micron you know is doodle through them okay i absolutely love to doodle through them okay so how are we doing for time guys oh we are kind of cracking on so we just take just to add in some of their interest And then you can sort of add in a bit of extra detail if you want. So, you know, sort of make them look bubbly. Or you can colour them in completely different colours with your gel pens. It's really okay either way. Okay. So, in true Blue Peter styling, here are some of the accessories that I made earlier. In all honesty, that was done to go across there. That's not going to happen now because I've added in other bits. Okay. But what I have got is I've got a coloured in solid section of the ladybug. Now, the reason I do it this way, this is the cool thing about the ladybug. Because he's obviously, he's got his antennas and he's got his little legs and all this sort of thing. But his body's really easy to cut out. It's just an oval. Okay. So what I tend to do with him is I'll stamp him where it is I want him to go and then I'll stamp him separately to colour him in and then I'll just cut off his body basically and then that way I've got a bit of added a three dimension to my card 3D texture 
but I haven't had to fuss a cat out his legs. So for me, everyone's a winner in that situation. Most importantly, me. Okay, and then I've got, I've also done one of the flowers, that the nice big flower. So we're going to put that on. Now, what I've also done with this flower, which is really cool, is I've cut separate pieces so that we can decoupage, layer it up. Okay, now again, with, with this, it gives you lots of options because to be honest, that is just a fab flower to have in a separate piece. So, you know, when you are looking at this flower it's not just as it's one piece this six petals in here is really really useful okay but what i'm gonna do yes tracy it is it's in a, it's in the set of four what i'm going to do is i'm going to stick this one. Just got to make sure it's, I get it the right way around. On the top there to make it three dimensional. And then, You know, I haven't spent this much time on a card in a really lucky in a really long time. But again, you could put this in your journal. And then Do you know what? I was checking the rotation of that, but it really doesn't matter. But yeah, sorry, I meant to say you could offset those petals as well as put them directly on top, but I forgot to say. Getting excitable now. Right. So So that can go on your card as uh, so. Or you can obviously, like I say, you can put it in your journal as a panel too. Okay. But what I'm also going to do is we're going to go in and add some white detailing. Okay. Um, because I absolutely love to do that. All right. So we're going to go in and add white to these bits I think where are my other um do the Posca for these for these bits um my other ladybird projects are because I've done loads of them but I can't remember where they are for the life of me I've gone quiet again, I'm sorry. That's concentration for you dudes. Okay. So, like I say, the cool thing about all these accessory bits is how you can join them all together from your other stamp sets, from the, like I say, from the dragonfly, from the butterfly, things like that. You can really piece them together. And bring your own take. And I think, like I say, I think the fun thing I get for it as well is I absolutely love drawing them. And I think when I'm drawing these accessory bits, because I know how much I like to play and join them together, 
you know. Now you've made a birthday card. You're well organised. I know. Next birthday in this house is Abigail. I'm pretty sure she'll want something with a pony on it. Okay, so I'm just going to... Or Loki. She loves him. Okay, now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to dot outside the stamps. Okay, so this is the thing. You don't have to just colour inside the stamps. You can doodle outside of them. I'm going to do it here too. I'm going to add in some dots on the points of some of these diamonds. But you know me, I could do these sort of accessory extra bits. I could sit here all day, couldn't I? But I'll tell you what I might do if I've got a piece but I can't see any. I'll just put a bit of black card in between the layers because I just think that might help. And that pop out a bit. Just give me a mo. Well, that's going to be big enough. Oh my gosh. It's not only going to be big enough, it's actually perfect size. I'm only going to have to cut one side. Happy days. Meant to be. Absolutely. Right. Oh no, there it is. has vanished. It's all good. I just buried it. Okay. So. Hopefully with that you'll see from the beginning where I'm just putting the inks on. I'm just blending them on. It's nothing. You know. And so this is why you don't get stressed out if you have a couple of harsh lines or, you know, it's just not like that. Oh, that line's gone a bit harsher than I thought it was. I thought it would be softer. I thought it would be more gentle and whatever. It doesn't matter because you're going to build. You're going to build on top. You're going to create something else. You're going to, you know, keep going. So I'm thinking small words for this. Okay. And I think we're going to go with... Ooh. We want something quite small. Be beautiful. Be beautiful. You're using a calendar to make cards. Absolutely, I do that for backing cards, using calendars and stuff like that sometimes. But bear in mind, you can also add inks to that. You know. Gonna go with a little. Be beautiful on here. And then again, I'm going to heat... I'm trying to get into better practices, okay? So I'm going to heat set that before I try and cut it out. Be 
you do this one. Oh yes, I think so. Which is quite exciting because all through the thing I was planning to put it up here. But I just think that is the right place for it. What do we all think? Do we all think that's the right place? Okay. Thank you so much. I'm so chuffed you all like it. I really, really am. Okay. All right, so let's do a quick zoom in while I do my final chat about. <clears throat> I'm so pleased with it, I can't even tell you. All right. So thank you for joining me tonight, Try It Out Tuesday. I think we've covered lots of techniques tonight and I want you to have a play with at least one of them. Okay, I want you to do some distressing blending. I want you to grab some doodle art stamps and colour them in and then just layer them on separately. Or I want you to get your dinker balls and fill in some gaps around what you're doing because it's brill. Okay, so I do want you to have a play with those. Please check out the challenge um, because you, if you enter, you can enter three times and you could win a stamps voucher, which is awesome. Okay um but also there's lots of everybody sharing their work everybody sharing their be crafty stamped projects so you know if you're looking for inspiration why not go in there and look all the creative team folders from different releases are there with all the samples in so you can go and check them out anytime you want um like i say the blog our awesome creative team are blogging so much and they do these easy to follow step-by-step -step tutorials which means you can take your time and just check out the photos okay just take your time and go through it as well okay so sam <clears throat> is on tomorrow at 2 p.m in crafting together with all brands okay that is now a private group so i do share the link but it's only if you're in the group you can go you go and have a look but we will we will put that on youtube anyway speaking of youtube both of my lives from last week are now on youtube if that's where you prefer to watch and catch up Thank you very much. Please may thank you. Um, and so this one will also be on YouTube very, very soon. Um, and then I am back on Thursday because Jane is unable to do this week and the creative team are also exceedingly busy. Bless them. Um, so if anybody wants to volunteer to help do things for me on Thursday, that would be great um, because Sam goes shooting on a Thursday. She only shoots a bell, so don't worry. Um, a bell in a little box but just from far away. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, so I will also be here on Thursday. And what we'll do is we'll do some art journaling. As we did some card making today, we'll do some art journaling on Thursday. And what I will also be doing is showing you the brand new Inkables templates that are coming to the craft store next week. Okay, so that's got to be worth a look. Oh, no, it's going to do the... Well, it's going to do the links for me. Thank you so much, darling. That's lovely. Yeah, so I'll be showing you the brand new inkables templates that will be going to the craft store on monday um not on monday on tuesday i can't even talk anymore all right then guys thank you so much for joining me um and you know staying with me while i work my way through my project because sometimes that you know it can be hard work working your way through your project you, there's always that bit in the middle where you're not sure it's going to work um so if you need any help finding anything on the website do let us know but most of the links are there all right then guys Bye.